To connect the Warble 2 by BLE to a Windows device, you'll first need to make sure that your device actually has the ability to, to connect to BLE. If not, you can buy a BLE dongle that'll plug into one of your USB ports to add the ability to connect. Next, the Windows operating system doesn't have the ability to connect with a BLE MIDI device quite as seamlessly as Mac or iOS. So the easiest thing to do is to install a BLE MIDI driver. And the one that I recommend is made by Korg and you install it and then it runs seamlessly in the background and it makes it so that when you connect a BLE device like the Warble 2, it appears as a USB MIDI device which will connect to all of your MIDI apps. So I'm just going to quickly step through the process of installing that driver now. So I'm going to open a browser and I'll search for Korg BLE MIDI driver and the first result is the downloads page for that driver. And we'll go to the site and scroll down and click on the driver link. And if you scroll all the way down, there is a download link for the driver itself. I'll click that and it should download pretty fast. Then I'm going to open the folder where it downloaded and double click the link and I'll click the option to extract all. And then it can run the installer for the driver. The installation should happen pretty quickly. I'll just follow the default prompts. And at this point, the driver has been installed successfully. And you'll never see it, it just runs in the background. But what it will do is detect any connected BLE MIDI device and make it appear as a USB MIDI device on your Windows machine. So at this point, we're ready to actually connect the Warble. So I'm going to go into the settings in my machine and click Bluetooth in devices. Then I'll click view more devices and then scroll down and where it says Bluetooth device discovery, the setting for that should say advanced. If it says default, you want to make sure you change that to advanced so you can detect BLE MIDI devices. Now we'll click on Bluetooth and devices again and turn on Bluetooth if it's not already turned on and then click add device. Then I'll turn on the Warble 2 and it should appear as a device. I'll click it and it should connect. Now one thing to be aware of is that if you don't have a MIDI app open, a BLE device will show its status as not connected. So you may connect and then it'll immediately show as not connected until you open a MIDI app and then the device will um, be displayed as being connected again, which can be a bit confusing if you're not used to it. Another confusing thing I want to be sure to mention is that on Windows, a MIDI device can only connect to one MIDI app at a time. So, for example, you can't connect to the Warble configuration tool in a browser and another MIDI app at the same time. You need to completely close one app before you can open another and then connect to the same MIDI device. So I'm going to open a MIDI app, in this case Forzando, to verify that the Warble 2 is connected and showing up as a USB MIDI device. So if I click on Tools and then Preferences in Sforzando, the Warble 2 should now be showing up as a USB MIDI device and ready to play. And also in Settings, it'll show as being connected again now that we have a MIDI app open.